Good morning. Let's talk about the word Zionism today. Where does it come from? What is the word Zion? Zion is the name for Jerusalem. Zion. Zionism was coined in the 1800s by Herzl as the very first word for land back. Jews are from the land of Judea. The country, Judea, there were two countries of Jewish countries, Judea and Israel. And the king, the, um, the, the capital of Judea was Jerusalem. And Jews were ethnically cleansed just like the Cherokees forced out of Israel, first by Romans and then by the Arabs, who conquered not just Israel, but all of Middle East and North Africa and Europe, Albania, Turkey, Portugal, and Spain were all taken by Arabs and Moors. And the Europeans freed them. They freed those lands. And in the words of Arabs, they would call it occupied those lands, right? Even though they freed them of the Muslim invaders who persecuted Jews and Christians in those lands. Killed thousands, thousands of nuns and priests. And did the same thing that happened in October 7th. This is documented. Now, Nobody says that uh, Spain is occupied by Christians or that um, you know, all the other lands, Bulgaria, is occupied by Christians because it was cleared of the Arab Muslim rule. Still some Muslims there, but you know, it's, it's, those are Christian countries. Now, in the 1800s, Jews realized that they would never be given equal rights in Europe. No matter how much education they got, they would never be treated as equals, as people who were living there, even though they lived there for generations. And so the idea came that, hey, all these countries were getting their own land, their own self-determination, and Jewish people just like all people on earth have that same right of self-determination. And so they coined a word Zionism of Jewish people going back to Zion. Just like Native Americans who have the term land back. So it was the very first land back term. Now, that word has been usurped by uh, anti-Semites. The word anti-Semitism was coined by an anti-Semite because he didn't like the word Jewish. Right? So he wanted to erase the word Jewish, so he instead called Jews Semites because they were speaking Semitic language. Hebrew is Aramaic, Arabic. Those are um, Ethiopian. Those are Semitic languages from a Semitic family. Uh, because they're from, from the same region. And so, uh, just like Jewish is a dirty term to anti-Semites, they also um, did the same thing they, uh, to the word Zionism as they did to the word Jewish. Except, they were, instead of being on the right, Usually the far right is the one that hates the word Jewish. It's the left. It's the anti-Semitism of the left. And so we have the word Zionism, which they have recoined to mean colonial, when it's actually the opposite of colonial. Arab conquest and Arab control of the lands of Israel and Judea, of North Africa, including Egypt, Algeria, Morocco, of Iraq, 
Pakistan, Iran, all those lands were not Arab lands. All those lands have been conquered by the Arabs and in a way colonized. And so Jewish people were the first non-Muslim people in since the time of Spaniards and Bulgarians kicking out the Arabs and becoming free. The problem for the anti-Semites of the world is the Jewish country. It believes that Jewish people are equal. The Jewish people de deserve self-determination and full rights in a country. And unfortunately, the far left, or instead of actually doing and just leftist instead of just doing research reading up on Israel and the history of Israel and the history of Islam are so happy to jump on this bandwagon that the Hamas and the terrorist organizations and all those Arab states who are anti-semitic to the core who have ethnically cleansed their countries of Jews after the Holocaust 700,000 Jews who were living in Iran Iraq Algeria Morocco Lebanon Syria all those countries were systematically cleared after the Holocaust you know they have lived there for generations sometimes for thousands of years Jews have never had equal rights anywhere except for in Israel even in America, Jewish people are constantly, constantly being discriminated upon. We know that Jews are make up less than 1% of America and yet constitute over 50% of religious based and ethnic based crimes. So this is how the word Zionism became a pejorative. How, because Jewish, the word Jewish is a pejorative too. And Jews wearing the word proudly, both Zionism, Zionist, and Jewish, is antithetical to anti-Semites who believe that Jewish people are somehow born evil. And um, it's, it's the same ideas you know, anti-immigrant, xenophobic ideas just apply to Jews. And so this is how we have the word Zionism being a dirty term. But it's made dirty by anti-Semites. This is why anti-Zionism is anti-Semitic. Because it negates the true history of Jewish people. The true identity of Jewish people as people from who were cleansed from Judea and Israel who were forced to live in exile in Europe who are not European who look very much like Palestinians who look look at Ahmed Tamimi look at a lot of the Palestinians look a lot like the Syrians look a lot like the Turks um, who look a lot like the uh, uh, Moroccans and the Yemenis there who speak a Semitic term from the Middle East. They negate all that. They pretend the Jews are colonizers when they escaped Europe, when they escaped North Africa to go to Israel, to their home country, the only country where they have ever had full rights. And this is antithetical to anti-Semites on the left and the right. Anti-Semites on the right uh, pejoratize the word Jewish. Anti-Semites on the left uh, pejoratize the word Zionist. It's convenient because then they look like they're different from the other right. Anti-Semites on the right, but they're not. They're both ignorant. They're both hateful. And they're both evil because they desire the death of Jewish people. The desire the discrimination of Jewish people based on the fact that they're just different. Thank you.